Hi all. So today's video, I will tell you the most asked the question in my YouTube and in my LinkedIn community. So I will tell you the question will be how many coding is required to become a data engineering? <laughs> yes, so that I will answer you. So there are different kinds of data engineers are available. Uh, we can categorize into three. For example, who are working in the cloud with the help of Azure, GCP and AWS, they can we can call as the cloud data engineer because they are working in the inbuilt uh, structure because inbuilt product like the Azure or GCP is the product of Google and Microsoft and uh, Amazon, right? So they are working in the inbuilt structure and they are using the correspond. There are a lot of services are available in this platform. They are the using that particular structure and transfer the data with the help of these services that is the cloud data engineer and second one will be the big data engineer who are working with the help of programming like java spark and that's all for example they need to they are more, more focusing on the product based companies like they want to create new kind of system to analyze the data so that is the reason they want more coding and that part and one more thing is the on-premises uh, data engineer. Normally, they are playing the data with the help of SQL. That we can call as the another type of data engineer. So these are the three kind of uh, categories are available. Then come to the point of how many coding is required. In my experience, if you are working or if you are focusing on the uh, cloud data engineer, not much coding is required, but definitely you need to identify what are the uh, basic. You need to know some languages because whenever we get a time or whenever we need to write a code, we are efficient. So that is the one. Uh, that time what we need to focus, if you are focusing on the Azure, Azure data engineer or Google cloud data engineer, AWS data engineer, you want to know each and every services help to transform the data in the particular cloud provider. So that is the only thing. That time you need to focus on the certification side. You can go the basic one first, then take the adva advanced level of data engineering certification. Then you will get the whole idea how these services will help to transform the data and in just a bulk load with the help of these services. Okay, so that time you don't require much coding, but you need to prepare some kind of coding if in case you need to write the code. But SQL is mandatory. You need to focus on SQL and Python. Python is easy. You can uh, do some programs and all and PySpark. With the Spark, you need to uh, something need to know. Don't worry about uh, more about the coding and all. But in the kind of big data engineer, we need to focus on the uh, Linux system because we are we are uh, hosting all the things in our Linux system because we are new, uh, newly developing one system, right? So that time uh, we need to know the Linux command, git repository, and uh, some uh, Java. Java is normally ba basic thing we want to start the, or deploying or developing something. So Java or Python, then the advanced level like Spark and Hadoop. These architecture we know. Then streaming side, uh, Kafka and even have so that kind of that need to know and come to the ETL engineer that means the data engineer in the on premises working they are more focused on the SQL side okay they are efficient in the SQL they write the coding coding and they create the procedures triggers and all with the help of their on premises system so this is the idea so if you are more interested to coding and you can do that one you can go directly go on the big data engineering side but you are not uh, you are not expert in level of coding you can go for the cloud engineering because you can take the certification you can easily move on that way so i think hope you're clear this is the most asked question that is the reason i just want to create this video okay